Hello, this is Kirill from forexpo.com and welcome back to the course on money management. In the previous sections of this course, we looked at three methods of money management. We looked at the linear method, the fixed ratio method by Ryan Jones, and the Larry Williams money management method. Now, what we're going to do in this section is compare these methods side by side. And when I say compare, I mean we're going to create different hypothetical scenarios and throw those scenarios at these money management methods to see how our, how our accounts would have behaved under these circumstances, depending on which money management method we would choose. And uh, that will allow us uh, to see how these diff methods um, affect our trading strategies in different ways, how much um, faster the account balance growth is in one method compared to the other, and it will also allow you to uh, basically model something very close to your style of trading and see for yourself um, in a risk-free environment how your trading style is affected by the money management method you choose, which I think personally is a very powerful way of analyzing um, how you should uh, manage your funds when you're trading. Okay, so in order to do that, I've created this um, Excel tool, created from completely from scratch just for this section of the course. And um, to, in order to bring up your questions, yes, of course, you can download this tool. Um, well, as soon as this video is finished, just go to the description of this lecture and the tool sitting there waiting for you. Uh, you can download it completely free, completely included in this course, uh, and you can follow along as we uh, do a testing in the further tutorials of this section. So in this um, short lecture, I just wanted to quickly uh, give an overview of the tool and how it works so then we can hit the ground running in the next tutorial. Um, on the first tab right away in front of you, you can see here two main charts, the volume chart and the balance chart. And then at the bottom, we've got some controls. So let's start with the volume chart. The volume chart tells you how you should be changing your volume, uh, the volume of your transaction based on the transaction number. So with each consecutive transaction, how is the volume growing? So um, here you've got the transaction numbers and on the left, you've got the volume and lots. And basically um, that's kind of a, uh, a model. It's telling you, if you were to uh, employ this method, then the uh, volume of your transactions should be growing like this. If you were to employ this method, then it will be growing like that. Um, and then on the right here, we've got the balance chart. The balance chart on the horizontal axis has the same thing. It's got the uh, consecutive transactions or orders that you're sending to the market. So have you sent the fourth order? Are you on the fifth order? Are you on the sixth order? And so on. And on the vertical axis, it's uh, got the account balance, the current uh, number of funds on your account. So basically here you've got your starting account balance and then you can see how it's growing uh, with every consecutive transaction that you send to the market. Um, now moving on to the controls, here you can specify um, a starting balance. So uh, as we discussed, you might want to specify uh, a balance that's similar to what your starting balance is in order to model a scenario that's very close to yours. Or you could specify any hypothetical number here just to uh, see what would have happened in, in that case. Um, then you can uh, specify the starting lot. So that's the lot that you would be comfortable with uh, trading at that starting balance. Um, so then you can specify the profit per lot. Once again, it can be a completely random number. Um, it can be a desired number. So you'd like to have profit per lot of that. Um, magnitude or you can actually go and look at your history of trading for the past couple of months and see what your average profit per lot was and you know that that'll probably be a good proxy for this number and if you plug it in you will be um, getting closer and closer to that um, scenario that's very much like yours your actual trading setup um, fixed ratio delta that's the parameter that um, is only relevant to the fixed ratio method and as we discussed in the previous section, it basically tells you how long you stay in each one of these steps over here. So the higher the delta, the longer you are in that step, but the more 
uh, conservative your trading is, the lower the delta, the faster you get out of the steps, so the faster you go up the steps, but uh, the more riskier you're trading. And number of orders, that's basically how many orders you want to visualize. So if I, if I type in like 20 here, you'll see that I'll see more orders. If I type in five, I'll see less orders. So let's put it back at 10. And then finally here, you can say which um, money management methods you want to display on your charts. Do you want to compare the linear and the fixed ratio? Uh, do you want to compare, say, let's say the um, linear fixed ratio, or say, let's say linear and um, the Larry Williams method? Uh, or do you want to maybe compare all three of them? You can just change it around, and as you can see, they come up and uh, dis disappear depending on what you say. And then there's another two tabs. So this one uh, is just basically the calculations behind the charts. You don't have to look at this. This is all done automatically on the fly, and it just propels those charts. So um, don't don't even need to bother with these uh, tabs. Uh, but just showing you that they are there in case you want to do want to have a look. And then uh, here we've got the fixed ratio table of risks, um, something that we discussed in the previous section. So that's basically this Excel tool. Once again, completely uh, included in this course, available for your download. Just go to the description of the section and you'll find it there. And in the next tutorial, we will start discussing um, how the money management methods affect your trading strategy and looking at different hypothetical scenarios. So it's going to be a real good fun. I look forward to seeing you then. And until next time, happy trading.